Since the time of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Nunzu chatty with his gut sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. Give it a try. What's that sound? Stop whining! Stop moving! <gasps> you smell that? Shit!
1867, 1864, 1881, arranged in order of vintage like fine wines. Chester. this thing to collapse.
I can smell you, Chess, you lousy skunk.
Get that son of a bitch! Young Rent here. Still on your father's leash, I see. <laughs> Yes. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you... That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. Consider it a promotion. Give shit. Belmont Bill's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debono for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, Debono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familiars. No question. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, Sounds like I'm making sure fancy pants here doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking. <laughs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell? Maybe we can play with dynamite out here, too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me! That gathering won't find itself, you know? Move it! Taking it. You know the can is right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. Hey, so you're telling me it's not the blues?
family of Calvert. Oh, another tick wannabe. Well, that's not gonna happen. Okay. about right. here somewhere. Dead end. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. 
Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Today, Chester. Please. I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. You get to Bono. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. Goddamn train. to compete against the species that keeps on growing and advancing with their technology, creating new and more dangerous weapons of war and other engineering marvels. As I see it, the real struggle is nature versus technology, instinct versus genius. We have allowed those naturally subordinate to us to transform themselves from prey into predators. If we don't alter this trajectory, eventually they will murder us all.
enough. Species, brothers and sisters. We are not bred. We are not born. We come to life when we accept the gift of change. Our powers are many, and they have served us well. The art of glamour has given us safety through secrecy, but I am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress. Sooner or later, Human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize us and make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. Jesus, it's huge. When did they build this? And how? Consider ourselves proud hunters, predators, 
but that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow. But it's not too late. We can still survive, but to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. Sujus rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change. Are you mad? Even you suggesting you such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will. Parish. Enough. I will not allow even your bastard breed to, to lead us into annihilation. Peter Davan, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind, I sentence you and your line to the true death. Try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... We... Force them to!
brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? What are you going to do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. Not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Sweet home. Just your rentier. You're a chip off the old block. <sighs> it's gonna be a long day. Is your rent here? At ease, boys. My father in his office. He is. Sir. Grave nurse with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? 
This isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress, great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. Mr. Rendier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. Oh, officially they called it a cholera epidemic, but the truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Civil War, right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him, badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Train fare here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. Veil of Secrets. From my first year of cadet training, and I'm the shortest one of the bunch. Well, the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Mr. Rent here. You remember me? More money. Director Rent here sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Take that.
Even Gravener by the stables. He ain't coming in. I heard Gravener's finally retired. Father in all his directorial glory. The artist who painted the portrait, what was his name? Philemon Cole? He was so curious about those gauntlets. Word came back that he talked about them in a local pub and Father had to give him a very stern talking to. Scared the living piss out of him. Father was a very private person. I'm surprised he ever consented to even pose for this portrait. You can see by the look in his eyes he wasn't too happy about it. Good to see you back, sir. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty. But that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Well, uh, <clears throat> as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisugia's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizoo's glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us. Oh, my God. 
Jess! Thank Christ! Where's my father? Still kicking ass, last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harold's pampered ass. Meet me out front. Never thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Joseph Warren and great-grandfather Dick. To find the tech headquarters, he let the Brits take him captive. Would have loved to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses.
Now to find my father. Oh! <laughs> 
this. Get him out of here. I got this. Don't be cross with me, Father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of these savages. You not do that, you fleshy toad! You nearly hit him. Stop blabbing, you're gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. We need to stop! Stop? We need to get the fuck out of here! We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. could blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher ground. And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses, and we'll stand our ground up there. 